I'm going to make a water bottle and for that I printed out these labels to go around the bottle. I cut one out and glued it together. I have that here and I'm leaving the rest on the shade for now. I have the label right here. I wrote out a piece of clay and it's a tad bigger than my label so I won't be able to put it over but only a tad bigger and I'm going to cut this in half. And I am choosing one of these. Let's see which one I'm going to use. I'll take this one. And I'm sticking it on my tiny glass plate here that I'm going to work on. Now I'm going to shape my water bowl. Um, and it's around 20 centimeter in the height. So I'm just going to cut this so it fits that size like that. So I have the round shape and I have the size of my bottle. And now to the hard part. I am going to make it look like the water bottle, half of the sides. When you're happy with your half bottle, then go and bake it and make a mold.
I baked my half bottle and I made two mold of it. Um, and I am going to use uh, liquid Fimo for filling up my molds, but you can also use resin. Um, be careful not to get too many air bubbles in there. Uh, and that's both in resin and in Fimo liquid. And I'm not gonna um, fill mine to the top. Because I found out that it's a bit too wide around the tummy. So I'm not filling it all up, but almost. And I'm doing the same with the other one. If you're using resin, then leave it to dry. And if you're using liquid Fimo, like I do here, then bake it for 10-15 minutes. While my uh, clay is baking or my resin is uh, drying up, I am going to take my labels and some white tape and I am putting over my tape over the band uh, labels and when I did that I'm just going to cut them out. When you have baked uh, your uh, bottles or they have been lying for a long enough time, take them out of your mold and you glue them together just going to do that. So I put on the glue and I take the other part of my bottle and I put it whoops I put it together with the first part. This way you have a whole bottle. Now make sure that the glue is all dry before you can continue. I wrote out a piece of clay in a setting 8 on the pasta machine. And I have this small circle cutter and I'm going to cut a circle out that we need for the lid on the bottle. Uh, so when the glue has all dried, you take this small lid and place it on top of the bottle. I know it can be hard to see. And squeeze down the little piece around the top. And to make it flat on the top, you can push it against your tabletop working surface, like that. And you can make some small indents uh, and in the lid to make it look even more real. And you don't need to put the lid on if you want that bottle that's open. And then you bake this one again. A little bottle and when you have picked it then you can glaze it and I have the lid made then I'm going to glaze my bottle you don't need to glaze the part where you have uh, the label later but I glaze everything else when your bottle has dried take one of your labels and some glue by gluing a tiny bit on my label That. and I am placing it on my bottle and taking a tiny bit more glue for the last piece of my label and, and I'm just putting that around making sure it stays closed until the glue has all dried. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. It really, really means a lot to me. So thank you for watching.